Are we going? Are you here? You're here. How do I look? How's my hair? All right. So I mentioned something once before that I thought I'd touch on. Um, I think a lot of people might call it something different. I guess for me, basically, it's something like these kind of cars here that have all these body lines through them. You want them all to line up. So I don't know what other phrase to call it except like indexing them panel to panel. Because there's, there's a lot of adjustment. Up and down, in and out. And all that, even like the doors, you can go up and down, in and out. You can get seasick with them. So uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of adjustment to get the, the, the body lines to line up. So I call it indexing them. Um, you don't gotta do this on every car, but this car here, every panel on this car, if it could talk and it, if it was done crying, it would have some stories to tell. So uh, that's what I've done with this to index the lines and I will demonstrate how I'm indexing the lines. So what I do to start with, you get your door hung, you'll gap it, you'll get the lines so that when you're eyeballing it, looks eye. Um, you'll want You'll want the door to fit the car the way the door is going to fit the car. Um, when I'm gapping doors, I have, I don't have it here. I got a big hunk of steel. It's half inch steel plate that I went in years ago to a metal shop and said, I want a slab of steel that's 25 pounds. So it's half inch thick and that, I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's big by big. And I like that because no matter what the door, I can slide it either in through the window hole of chunk or through an access hole and I'll put it in the door and I'll just set it in the bottom and that will duplicate the weight of the window, the vent window, the regulator, the latches, the handles. So that uh, when I gap a door finally and hang it, I've got the door weighted. So that's what it's going to fit like with the glass and everything in it. And generally when you do it like that, then when I take that weight out, the back of the door always will come up a little bit, eighth of an inch, sometimes more, sometimes it doesn't come up at all, but there's always that chance. And just about on every Dodge, because there's no structure inside a Dodge door whatsoever, so they do sag. So you put the weight in it and it drops it down. You gap it with the weight in it, set your lines up, um, I haven't done that yet, but I'll just have to duplicate this. That's for final gapping. Off topic, never mind. Straight up. Anyways, so I've got this. Eyeball pretty good. What I do is I have a ratchet strap on the inside of the car down in Chiang. Um, hook to the other side. Cock. So what I do is. Uh, Strap. And you'll go hook it to the other side. God damn it. Son of a bitch. You get your, your lovely assistant to hook it to the other side. Thanks, sweetie pie. It ain't easy being green. Alright. Retake. So you take your ratchet strap. Chum. Hook it to the inside of your door. Alright. Find your tension. We're in too far. High tech. See what I'm saying? Um, okay. So I'll pull the door off. Set that wedge in, set the wedge in place. Give the door a wedgie. So you're happy with it. That's a hot dog. So now there we are. Now this all happened before this business here. So then what I'll do, so I'll take some tape and I'll go up, 
I'm fine. Now, when, when I'm grinding, you see all the different textures and who could do's here. I kind of do that on purpose. So I'll zigzag all over the place there. But then, for a final grind, I'll take it, I'll run my grinder down the body line, or my sander, or whatever, run her steadily down the body line, steadily down the body line, and then that will give you a line in the texture on your metal to follow. You know, there's your breadcrumbs for your body line. Come here, you bastard. So then you get down, do a little, find your body line, right about, uh, follow it a little bit. Then you take your tape. Come back through that panel. Just a second. I got too much light on the side. Woo, mood lighting. Now, I don't know if that shows up any better to you, but now that I've killed the studio lighting on the walls, with just the top lighting, now I got a good shadow. So you pull your tape. As you're pulling it, it's vibrating. Let it stop vibrating. And then find your lines. And then just drop. There it is. I'm not right on the money there, but I mean, we're just demonstrating. So I'll do that there. I'll do it here. Same gig. Do it down there. So now once you got that, in this instance where the prior, where the quarter pound was prime, I put a couple of strips of the old Big Daddy tape on down there. And then what I did is basically um, I mixed up some filler and I filled straight over, right over it. I went up from the here, let me from this side. Then I went from the tape, and I went up from the tape, right over the gap. So I was happy with it. Then once I had that line, took the tape, pull her off. Next line. I went about three quarters of the way up. Then I took a little this filler there. Then I snuck right up to this line, and then I pulled it down. And I did that. Then I did that. Then I did that. So then you got to let it set up a little bit, right? Boink. So then once the filler set up, um, I came in with. Uh, Anyways, I come in with a cutoff wheel because you will see a little groove there where your door gap is in the filler. So then I went down and I cut a line through there with a cutoff wheel. Then I come back in with this little guy. Cut the gap off. Holy jumpins. I just got nothing here. Damn. So I want you done that. <laughs> then I just use this for the majority of it. Sand right, right across. Or with your block. Or with a piece of sandpaper on your ass. Whatever you want to do. Go, get up. Get, get up. Holy hell, it's got me. Um, so then you'll go right back and forth across it to your, to your level. And then while you're doing that, that's when you'll be cutting your body lines and your panels also be flush. I mean, if you can see in the edges, you can see that it's, I mean, there's nothing there. But that way it really sharpens up your lines and then you're, you're level across. And then now if you just do sections such as I have, then, uh, so this is pink. Then when I'm doing the body work on it, 
I will use a different colored hardener in my Mingus. In this case, it'll be blue. So then, uh, when I'm sanding the filler, and when my blue gets down into the paint, stop sanding. Cut. Because you don't want to be moving that around. So as soon as you see that come through your dough, put the brakes on. Hold up. And again, like I said, I've done the same back here to match it up to the quarter, to match it up to the fender. So now that's done. That's done. Now the panels can come off and you can finish doing your stuff. I guess that's about it. Anyways, like I said, that's that's what I refer to as indexing panels. Um, now when you hang the door, all you got to do is get the door on just exactly where you have it now. And in the case of the fenders, you've only got to get that fender back on 16 or 17 more times exactly where you've got it right now. Does that help somebody? Cool. If not, I don't know. Talk to myself a lot, so this time I'm just talking to myself with a cameraman. I guess that's probably it. A little more on the 67 Dodge Dart. This is going to be a nice little car. All the, you'll see it all the way through. I got a lot. There's more to do yet. So uh, I guess that's it. Happy, what the hell's today? I don't know. Wednesday, Tuesday, I don't know. See ya.